Good morning, peeps. Uh, as you can hear and see, it is still raining. It rained all night. Franz Joseph so far has been really wet. Um, so today I had planned to go on the glacier and actually in a helicopter and do a glacier hike. But they don't fly in this weather and tomorrow they're fully booked and we don't want to stay here too long because there is nothing else to do than the glacier. And in this weather you can't hike there, you can take a helicopter, you can see it from afar, it's just no glacier basically. Which means the whole day probably I'll spend inside on the internet working on your videos and yeah, so probably not much filming. Good morning everybody, it's now day 22, not 21, because yesterday we were just staying here at the hostel, it was raining all day long, so I just updated my blog, edited videos, uploaded them, you did the same, we both looked at flights and planned and whatever, so I didn't do any filming yesterday, sorry for that, and yeah, helicopter flight was cancelled, and I cannot go today, they're fully booked. So we're just gonna drive there. You have a specific hike in mind. And I will see what I can do. I still don't feel 100% fit, so not going on her difficult hike. See you. So I dropped off Nicole at her start of the hike and yeah since it rained like three days constantly there's so many waterfalls so it might look quite nice let's check it out there's the glacier once filled the whole valley and now you can barely see it that's what I wanted to do, flying a helicopter. <laughs> Just 150 years ago, the glacier filled the whole valley. And this is a projection for 2100, but if you ask me, it already looks exactly like that. I envy Nicole on her trek because there probably are no people at all and this one is full of tourists so I cannot really enjoy the small views that I get. Seeing those helicopters I really feel disappointed because that's something I would have loved to do, fly up there, hike on the glacier, fly back down, but the weather, you know, should help. So I'm driving now back to the hostel to upload more videos for you guys and watch the news maybe. Alright, I found her again and I managed to upload a few things and she managed to have a nice hike. And we still have food and everything so we just continue to drive along the coast and we have no idea what awaits us. Let's see what we will find. So before we go to our campsite, Nicole wants to have a swim in a waterfall, apparently. So I'll give her the camera. I think you can also swim up there. So you have to go in first and see how cold it is. Okay, my legs are already in there. Hello. I have goosebumps everywhere. As you can see, at least the waterfall is nice. 
Bill is warm and comfy. Okay. Three, two, one, zero. <laughs> okay, again. Okay. Three, two, one, zero. Ah. Always keep smiling, then no one. Nicole had oh. her daily dose of a waterfall. She's happy now. Yeah. Dock sites are the cheapest. So, thank you, Doc. Appreciate it. These birds are so, so curious. There's so many sand flies, I need to engineer again a mosquito net, one that works this time hopefully. And we are now setting up camp at this lake with the weird birds. Let's see how long this one holds. Probably just a day. What are we eating tonight? Carrots. Just carrots? No, and some sweet potatoes. Kumara. And onions. And, and coconuts. <laughs> Sounds good. So while we plan the rest of our trip, the upcoming two weeks, we are saying good night for the day and see you tomorrow morning. Good night. Good night. <laughs>